here we are for the uh, three times box break, as you can see. Got the um, uh, first box at the front there ready to go. Um, and the other two at the back. So we'll get to those, obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I'll wait another minute or two just to see if people want to tune in live. But, um, worst case, you're watching this after the fact, so... Uh, maybe skip to the three minute mark um, if you're up, what if you are watching this later and um, uh, yeah I'll start there so I'll just uh, yeah leave it for another minute or two. Alright, I reckon I might just get to it. People can uh, tune in when they when they want to. Um, but as you can see, still got the security seal on it. So you guys know that um, what comes out of these boxes is 100% is, uh, legit. Nothing tampered with or anything. Um, just got to figure out the best way to actually open the security seal. I'm always a bit um, not keen on cutting into it, but sometimes you have to. There we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Box number one. Pack number one. I'm going to be trying to go through these relatively quickly because there are three boxes to get through. Daniel Lloyd and a Charlie Dixon uh, milestone. Archie and a Brad Hill acetate. Move scissors off to the side. Uh, George Hewitt and a Jordan Ridley club acetate from Essendon. Bailey Dale and Jake Stringer, um, camo starburst. Um, 
Trent McKenzie and a Tim Taranto Game Breakers from the Giants. Mark O'Connor and Kane Turner Camo Starburst. Hopefully you guys are seeing these alright. Just trying to get through them relatively quickly. Um, I don't want this to be like a two, three hour stream because I'm showing off all the cards for a minute or whatever. Uh, Daniel Talia and Tom Lynch. Camo Starburst, another one of those. So, no big hits yet, but you're meant to get two per uh, box. Although, last time we got a bit unlucky and actually didn't get two in a box. We got one in one of the boxes. Um, so, hopefully, luck is on our side this time. Um, Bailey Fritch. There we go. Nick Haynes, bang. That's a nice one. There you go, so, uh, and the number on the back is 54. There you go. We'll um, put that off to the side so that it doesn't get hurt. But number one uh, box hit is Nick Haynes Bang. I do like the bang cards this year. They look really good, much better than the um, the fireworks die cuts. They weren't bad, but I'm not. I'm just not a fan of die cuts. Uh, Tom Green, and we got the crack competition card. Put that off to the side. Saba Radagalia and a Josh Kennedy Game Breakers. So just quickly to let you guys know, you will receive every insert from the team that you have purchased. And um, you'll also receive a full common set from the team that you've purchased. Brandon Stasevich. And a Scott Pendlebury Game Breakers. Um, yeah, because there's no point in that. You'll get like three team sets or whatever common sets from um, the three boxes. So there's no point in kind of doubling up on that. So I just give one. Wayne Miller. And... Lucky Hunter Game Breakers. There you are. Mitch McGovern and a Hugh McCluggage Game Breakers. Some of these packs are a nine minute open. Tom Berry from the Lions. And another competition card. Wow, we're starting off well with those. Already got two. If anyone wants a competition card, um, I'll pay you $3 to take it off my hands. Not really. Darcy Moore. And what do you know it? A third competition card. What are we open? Like 15 packs or something? Three competition cards. We're not doing too well. Um, but yeah, Darcy Moore from Collingwood. 
He had a um, nice first, first match of the season. Although, based on his standard, it was just a regular old game for him because he's a, he's a star in the making, that's for sure. Uh, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody. He had a couple of nice moments as well last night. And a Jack Petrocelli camo burst. Um, what I'll do at the end is I'll go back through the um, the uh, box hits. We've got Will Satterfield there and Rory Lobb. So any bangs, lightning starbursts, or, um, you know, predictors, Coleman, Brownlow, uh, etc. I'll, I'll go through um, just so you, you know what you've got. If you don't want to sit here and watch for, um, you know, over an hour or whatever, I understand. Not everyone has the, has the time. Hunter Clark from St. Kilda there. And a Todd Goldstein Club Acetate. From North. I uh, feel sorry for North fans. Right now they uh, seem to be struggling. It's a bit like me with opening these packs. Tim O'Brien, he had a pretty nice game. And Zane Cordy camo burst. Yeah, some of these packs are just, they don't like to open. Will Snelling from Essendon, and Taylor Adams, Camo Starburst. We've only gotten one milestone so far, which I think was in the first pack. It might have been Charlie Dixon from Port, so um, I expect a few more of those and potentially a Lightning Starburst or, or a, like a Brownlow Predictor or something. So Chris Main from Collingwood, and there you go, another milestone right on cue. Luke Parker from Sydney. He um, he had one of the best seasons last year, honestly. Um, people might not have known because Sydney didn't do too well in the season, but every match he was like the star of the match. I think he ended up coming like top 10 or something in the Brownlow as well, maybe top 15. So uh, Hugh Greenwood, ex-Adelaide, um, and Zach Butters, the young star from Port. Camo Burst. Um, Tom McDonald. And Dan Hanabry Camo Burst. I feel like we're getting a lot of Camo Bursts at the moment. So I think we might be running out of those. And we still need a couple more milestones. Hopefully another box hit. Um, and, uh, a few acetates and, and, um, game breakers. Yep, got another game breakers here. So that's Chad Wingard. And, uh, Kyron Hayden was the hollow foil. Getting towards the end of this box. Still got a few more packs. Tom Jonas and Jeremy McGovern Club Acetate there. A uh, couple of uh, good defenders from, from their teams.
Shea Bolton from Richmond. I don't think we've gotten many Richmond cards yet, so... And Taylor Walker coming off a five-goal haul. He played a great game against the Cats. That's the best I've seen him play in, in probably two or three years, honestly. So maybe three years since Adelaide were a premiership threat. Josh Bruce, he competed well against Collingwood. And um, Ollie Florent from Sydney as well. That might not focus, but oh well. Um, you can still see it. Uh, Brad Shepard from the Eagles, reliable defender. And another milestone, Michael Hibbard from Melbourne. I think Hibbard's still playing, but these milestone cards, they give a milestone cards to players even if they retire. So um, I don't actually know. I haven't seen him around recently, but he's one of those players that kind of flies under the radar as well when he does play. But he, he's been pretty consistent for a long time, Michael Hibbard. Uh, Brett Buley from Fremantle. And we've got Jade Gresham from Saints. Uh, Jaden Short, another Richmond. Um, and Ollie Wines from Port for the Game Breakers. So we're really down to the last few now. I think five or six packs left. So hopefully we get another box hit. Because last time we got a um, competition card, an extra competition and an extra milestone, which meant that we didn't get a um, second box hit. Tom Scully from the Hawks. And Rory Atkins from Adelaide. I believe he's now playing for Gold Coast as well. So he made a move during the off-season um, to go to Gold Coast, which um, I think many people, many players have been trying to get away from Adelaide as they were a premiership contender just a few years ago and now they're bottom. But uh, they, they've started the season off well, so maybe they just needed some fresh faces in their team to, to actually do something. Got Darcy McPherson, he's a good young player on the Suns, and Jarman Impey. Todd Goldstein from North, and Jack Stephen for the Cats. Aiden Young and Trent Dumont, Game Breakers for North. Second last pack of the box. Hopefully, box hit. But I think if we get a milestone, then there's only one box hit, unfortunately, because we've already gotten the three competition cards. Sorry, um, Nick Blakey there. And Nick Blakey there as well. There you go. What are the chances? Two Nick Blakeys in the one pack. Both inserts. Um, last pack. Let's hope for a box hit. Like a lightning starburst. That would be really good. But um, I don't know. I'm starting to doubt whether there's actually um, another one in this box. Yep, we got another milestone. So there you go. Ben Patton. And Lockie Weller from the Suns. So unfortunately, once again, only um, one box hit in the entire box. 
which, uh, yeah, that happens when you get, I think the, the chances on, on here are, um, for the milestone, it's one in every eight packs. So if you get four milestones and three competition cards, or five milestones and two competition cards, then you end up getting uh, a second, there you go, just focus, you end up getting a second box hit like a lightning starburst or whatever. Um, but if you get three competition cards as well as five milestone cards, they actually take up the the um, second spot of a box hit card. So there's not really too much you can do about that. That just That's just how it goes. Um, but it's kind of not great. Um, I still actually have... Uh, protect. I don't even know what you call this, but there we go. Didn't even realize. Get that out of the way. And we'll start on um, box number two. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge... I think there should be two box hit cards in every box, but just based on the rarities and, and uh, the numbered cards that they have, it doesn't actually equal that. And, uh, yeah, you can end up getting five milestones and uh, um, three competition cards, unfortunately. Which, you know, people don't mind the, the milestones. They, they look pretty nice, obviously. And you get a player who's um, played a lot of games for your team. But uh, the competition cards are the problem. Should just be two per box. And that w would guarantee you a, um extra uh, box card. Alright, here we go. Box number two. We got through that first box in about 20 minutes, so that, that gives me hope that this won't go for hours and hours. It'll only be around an hour, so um, you guys don't have to wait around for too long. Um, got Lockie Ash from GWS and a Port Premiership Predictor. There we go. That's what we've been looking for. So have a look on the back. We've got 140 of 140, so that's the last one, the highest number. I know it's not as good as a number one out of 140, but it'll do. So, um, sorry, I, d I don't have the list in front of me as to who has which teams, but well done to whoever has port. There you go. So that's a one, I think it's a one in 432 card, uh, 432 pack card. Yeah, so... That's a one per case card, and we've just gotten that from the second box. So, we uh, unfortunately only got the one um, box card from the last box, but in our, I think what, that was our first pack of this box, and we got a port premiership predictor. So, there you go. Well done to whoever um, got port, because you're definitely getting your money's worth there. Ben Ainsworth from Gold Coast. And we have a Ed Kerno Game Breakers from Carlton. But yeah, I, I'm feeling that this. I think I think a bang has to be in every box. That's like the percentages. So now that we have a, a Port Premiership Predictor, which by the way, Port, based on how they were looking before this stream started, and um, uh, yeah, based on their performance last year, they're. They're one of the teams that should be up there in terms of winning the Premiership, so that might be a card worth keeping. Jack Henry and Elliot Yo, Game Breakers. Doesn't want to focus, but that's alright. You guys can still see him. Um, if you're watching right now, feel free to let me know what you're looking for which team you have, and all of that. So we can try and uh, get the the, uh, the the world, the luck on your side. Um, 
and get a nice card from your team. Curtis Taylor and another game breakers, Dyson Heppel. He played pretty well against Hawks. He was playing off the half back line, like half back flank or, or back pocket even, um, which, you know, is quite different for him. But because of his skill and uh, knowledge of the game, like he's obviously the captain of their team, but he, he, he'll play well no matter where he goes. So he, yeah, he had a very nice game. I think he had 25 touches. Darcy Fogarty, he actually didn't play. I thought he would, but with a young player like that. And a second Adelaide in that pack, Rory Sloan, um, Game Breakers. There you go. A couple of Adelaides for um, the person who picked up Adelaide in the break. Just a quick recap while we open this pack. So far we've gotten a, I think it was a Nick Haynes, yep, Nick Haynes bang. And um, a Port Premiership Predictor. Say that fast three times. Okay, we got a competition. Chuck that off to the side, no good. But we got Liam Duggan there. Um, so, yeah, Port and GWS are the two teams that we pulled some nice cards from so far. I mean, don't get me wrong. But when I say nice cards, um, most of the cards this year look pretty good. Um, so, if you get any inserts from your team, especially since um, this year they're, they're doing hollow foils instead of die cuts, because the die cuts I, I just wasn't a big fan of, whereas hollow foils actually look quite nice. Um, okay, Michael Hibbard from Melbourne and Max King from Saints for the camo burst. So there you go, Hibbard is still playing. I wasn't sure. Like I said, he's been a consistent player for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was still trucking along. Connor Butterick, Buderick. He's quite a young guy. Chad Wingard from the Hawks for the camo burst. Uh, Sam Gray moved from I think it was Port he was playing for. Yeah, with with he was unrelated to uh, Robbie Gray, but. He uh, moved to Sydney last season, I think. And we've got uh, Luke McDonald, who I think just won North's Best and Ferris. So that's a that's a good one to have. Matt Tabiner from Frio. And another Frio, Caleb Sarong. We've had a couple of those packs with um, two players from the same team, which obviously with 18 teams in the competition, you would uh, expect that each pack would have the two inserts be from different teams. Chances of having it be from both teams are really low. Uh, sorry, both from the same team. Um, Sam Palpepper from Port. Tough in and under. Guy and uh, Dan Butler from Saints for the club acetate. Dylan Grimes and Luke Parker for the camo burst. I'm hoping that you guys can hear me all good, but even if you can't, you can still see the cards being opened, so it doesn't matter too much. I'll just keep chatting away. The main thing is that you guys see them. Jared Berry. I think we had Tom Berry before, so there, there we go. We got Jared and Tom. We got another competition card, so that's two from this box. So let's hope that stops there. Because there's supposed to be one in every 15 packs. And right now we've opened about... I don't know, 45 packs, and we've got five competition cards, so we're, we, we're only supposed to have three from that many packs. J. 
James Rowbottom from the Swans. Doesn't really want to focus, but I'll... Um, and Matt Guelfi from Essendon. Um, Eddie Betts, what a star he is from Carlton. He didn't play round one though. And, um, oops, my apologies. Um, Joel Hamling there as well. Jack Loney from the Saints. And we've got a Lockie Plowman milestone as well from Carlton. A couple Carltons in a row. Feeling a bang coming in the next couple of packs. Devin Smith and Tom Langdon from Collingwood for the camo burst. Tom Libertore. Ooh, Tom Lynch. Lightning Starburst. There you go. So does that mean that we don't get a bang in this box? I thought there was a, a bang per box, but maybe not. Try and get that to focus. Doesn't It's not looking like it wants to. There you go. That's a nice looking one. And since it's Tigers, whoever got the Tigers, they're going to be really happy. Put that off to the side. So we got Port Premiership Predictor so far. We've got Tom Lynch, um, uh, Lightning Starburst, and we've got a Nick Haynes Bang from GWS. So a couple of nice ones. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a bang per box. So we've already gotten two um, box inserts. Bailey Williams there. And Luke Brown from Adelaide. Um, but yeah, we've already gotten two box inserts in this box. So that might be it for this box. Not sure. I don't, I don't think it's possible to have three in a box. But you never know. It's possible to have one in a box. So why can't it be possible to have three? Hamish Hartlett from Port. And... Maxi Gorn, big Maxi Gorn from the D's. He's been such a good player for the last probably five or six years now. He, he started off slow just because he was very tall and lanky, but he built a bit of muscle and uh, developed his skills. And now he's just, you know, one of the best ruckmen in the game right now, along with Nick Nananui and uh, Todd Goldstein and Brody Grundy, of course. Brody Majacek, speaking of uh, Collingwood Brody. There we go, Jordan Dawson Bang from Sydney. So that's three box hits. We're, we've had a one per case card, a one in every two box card, and a one in every box card just from this one box. So I don't know what happened with this box, but it's a good one. So Jordan Dawson from Sydney. So we'll put that off to the side again. And each card has been from a different team as well, which I'm happy about. I um, I think it's always a bit of a shame when I see one team get all of the really good cards or, you know, one or two teams. And especially when there's, you know, around six um, uh, really rare inserts to go, go out. Um, it's great when it's one to each team so that as many people as possible can get them. So we got Cam Zerha there um, and Asaba Radagalia. But yeah, four different people, or four different teams, sorry, uh, like have had a, a really nice rare insert so far. So hopefully we can get another couple for a, a, a different, um, for two other teams.
got Luke Jackson from Melbourne and Sam Menegola from Geelong. Daniel Rioli from the Tigers and Big Buddy Franklin from Sydney. Such a shame that he's been troubled by injury the last couple of years. What a superstar. And, you know, it's like if you saw Dustin Martin get injured and be out for two years or it's just the game's not the same without these superstars in it. And Buddy Franklin is a once-in-a-generation talent, so... Jack Scrimshaw from Hawks. And a 250 game Todd Goldstein milestone. It's crazy. He's been a star for so long now. Um, especially in a team like North who, you know, play, had a period where they played a couple final series. But a bit like Carlton have never been much of a contender. Um, and, and honestly, same as Essendon. Um, they've made finals a few times but just haven't done anything. Um, but he stuck it out through thick and thin at uh, North. So Phil Davis there from GWS. Another milestone. Uh, Jack Crisp. Let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. Just wanted it to focus. I'm not an expert with this camera work, so um, I try my best. <laughs> Ethan Hughes from Fremantle. I don't know too much about him. Hayden Crozier from Bulldogs. Yeah, I, I haven't watched too much Fremantle over the last year or two just because they've been kind of a bottom team. But I do know that they're, they're a young team and they're very much up and coming. So expect them to make some moves over the next year or two for sure. They're, they're uh, quite similar to a team like uh, Gold Coast or Carlton. They've, they've shown a bit of promise at times, but this next couple of years are key for those teams. Luke Dahlhouse, ex-Bulldogs Premiership player. And Nick Larkey from North. Once again, we're getting towards the end of this box. Last eight or nine packs, I think. Um, but I think we're probably done for hits from this box. We've had three, so... That's more than I thought you could even get in a box. Jordan Roughhead, once again, ex-Bulldogs Premiership player. And a gold Jack Gunston 200-game milestone. So try and get that to focus because it looks quite nice. Nah, can't get it, but you guys saw it. Callum Wilkie from Saints. And Darcy Parrish, Club Acetate from Essendon. Blake Hardwick from Hawthorne. He had a nice game. Tom Jonas, uh, last night, um, yeah, Blake Hardwick, he, he did really well, got some key possessions to get the ball forward for, um, off the halfback flank for Hawks. One of these packs that don't like to open. Let's go to the other end, there we go. Mac Welfie. From Essendon and Tim Kelly. He was a star two years ago. Once he moved to West Coast, I think he was a little bit quieter last year. But when he played for Geelong in his first couple of seasons, he was up there with everyone, uh, with you know anyone else in the league. 
as one of the best, so I expect him to get back to a similar sort of form this year. Jake Kelly from Adelaide, and Shea Bolton, Shy Bolton from uh, Richmond. And we've got three packs left in this box. My hope is that we just don't get another competition card so that you guys get as much as possible. Hate seeing those competition ones um, taking up the space for the other cards. Um, Lincoln McCarthy from Brisbane. He he's so he's short, but he can take some ripper marks. And Hugh Greenwood there from Gold Coast as well. Jack Nunes from Carlton, and there we go, another Richmond, Jack Graham, two Jacks, Jack Nunes and Jack Graham, for the Game Breakers, and last pack of the box, which this was a successful box way earlier on, because we got three box cards in the one box, so, made up for the one only the one in the first box. Liam Ryan uh, from the Eagles. And another Eagles, Dom Sheed. So there you go. And we've got Shannon Hearn on my left as well for the common. So that was an Eagles pack for um, whoever got them. So that's box two done and dusted off to the side there. And then we got final box Number three, let's get this bad boy open. Like I said, I don't want to leave you guys waiting for too long. Um, I know breaking three boxes can take a little while, so I, I, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. I'm, you know, I haven't done too many box breaks before, so I'm, I'm new, but I'm trying to get through them relatively quickly. We got this on the edge here again. There we go. Just a secure, another security thing that they use. But yes, as you saw, have to take off the security seal for all of them. So whatever we get in these boxes, whether it's um, three uh, really rare insert cards or one, it's all it's all been sealed up. So there's nothing that I've done. I've, I've just bought them and taken them home and uh, waited for this box break. So be good if I could uh, get this lid open. I'm not sure what's making it stick, sorry. Apologies for this, guys. I might actually just have to rip the box in the end. Something here is making it not want to come out. Yeah, I'm just ripping off these sides to... There we go, alright. My bad. Doesn't matter too much. It's obviously not the packs that I'm ripping, just the outside box. Okay, final box. Let's get it going. Irving Mosquito. Played really well in Indigenous round last year. Um, Tom Langdon for Collingwood. Jeremy Howe, good to see him back playing after a lot of time out last year. And a second Sydney bang card, Isaac Heaney. There you go. Jordan Dawson, Isaac Heaney. So to whoever got Sydney, you lucky duck. Put that off to the side with uh, with his mate, Dawson and Heaney.
Hopefully this is another three really rare insert box. That'd be great to get seven from three boxes. Brent Daniels and a competition card. Get rid of that. But yeah, Brent Daniels there from GWS. Shane McAdam. I think he took a really good mark in that Adelaide match against Geelong. So he's someone to look watch out for. Got a good leap on him. And Riley O'Brien, one of the up-and-coming ruckmen in the competition, just won um, the Crows Best and Fairest last year as well. So when you have players like Rory Laird, Rory Sloan, uh, Brody Smith, and uh, a couple other stars on that team... It's uh, really impressive to win the best and fairest amongst those experienced players. Sam Wiedemann from the D's. And Cam Guthrie, who had a career best season last year. Um, him and Sam Menegola, I think they were like top 20 in the Brownlow or something, along with Danger. So, you know, Danger, uh, Patrick Dangerfield is obviously such a key player, but... Um, you don't really think about Manigola and Guthrie as much, but they're they're out and out stars as well. Darcy Gardner from Brisbane, another competition. That's not a good sign. We've already gotten two competition cards in the first four or five packs, but we have already got a bang as well from this. So, yeah, hopefully we get a uh, starburst lightning or something like that as well in this box. Travis Collier. And Hayden Crozier. Crozier being an ex-Fremantle. Collier being a current Fremantle player. Tom Williamson there from Carlton and Joel Hamling from Fremantle. I've had a couple of Fremantle ones recently in the last few packs. Um, James Cousins, young up and comer for the Hawks, and Tom Jonas from Port. Matt DeBoer from Giants and Rory Sloan from Adelaide. 200 game milestone. Like I said before, Rory Sloan, an absolute star, captain of the team as well. Brandon Parfit from Geelong and Nick Larkey from North. Oscar Allen from the Eagles and Max King from Saints. He's an up-and-coming star for the Saints. Definitely a big part of their future, I, I would imagine. Especially since they're already, you know, a team that's on the rise and uh, last year playing finals and winning a final. So Hayden Crozier from Doggies and Heaney from Sydney for the club Acetate.
Isaac Rankin had a nice first year last year. Can't wait to see what he does this year. And Patrick Cripps, three-time best and fairest winner at Carlton. And he's only 26 years old, I think, right now. So um, he's been a, a very good player so far. Had a bad season last year, but a, a lot of players who typically perform well didn't do well last year just with the whole hub system and all of that. So being away from family and, and whatnot. Chase Jones from Adelaide, nice young player. And Shea Bolton from Richmond. Luke McDonald from North. And Zach Merritt, Essendon's best player last year by a landslide. He was... Uh, he was their shining light last year. Uh, unfortunately, they, did, they didn't have a great season. I think they won like five or six games or something out of the 17. But he was the one player who consistently got the ball and, and sent them forward. Mitch Robinson from Brisbane. And David Swallow from Gold Coast. I believe David Swallow was their number one draft pick originally when they first formed Gold Coast. So I think he's now like captain or co-captain or at least in the leadership group. So he, he's turned into a, a consistent player and um, a good leader for Gold Coast, especially since they're still a young club. Jamie Cripps. And another competi competition card, so that's no good. But Jamie Cripps there. Um, Camden McIntosh from Tigers. And Luke Parker. Sydney's best player, at least last year anyways. A bit like Zach Merritt was the shining light in what was uh, not, not a great season. Harry Mackay from Carlton kicked uh, two goals in the first match this season. And another Shea Bolton. From Richmond, who also played pretty well against Carlton. Just hoping for one more box hit. That's the aim for, for the rest of this break. Will Hayward and Mac Welfie. Todd Marshall from Port, and Josh Kennedy from West Coast. What a player he's been. If uh, Buddy didn't exist in the last 15 years, Buddy Franklin, Josh Kennedy would easily be the uh, best key forward over the last um, 10 to 15 years. So that's, that's saying a lot. Because buddies are once in a generation ta talent. Uh, Jason Castagna and Tom Duday, Club Acetate. There, we've gotten a few nice um, Adelaide cards. Apologies, I keep moving my um. <laughs> Camera, there we go. Carl Langford from Essendon. And Tim Kelly again from West Coast. Alright, we're getting down to it. Last uh, 10 to 15 packs.
Callum Brown, and we got a milestone. Jager O'Meara for the Hawks. Of course, X Gold Coast. He's uh, looking to have a big season this year because he, he's shown a bit, but he just needs to have a consistent year, no injury, really good form, and he, he's definitely got it in him. So, uh, Dougal Howard, export player, and another milestone, uh, Kane Lambert from Richmond. Nice little small, uh, I'd call, well, I was going to call him a small forward, but he actually plays quite a lot of uh, midfield now and gets, you know, 25, 30 touches a game. So, yeah, I don't think I can call him a small forward. He, he does go forward from time to time, but, yeah, he's in the middle now with Dusty and Cochin and Prestia. Alex Keith. There we go. Brisbane Lions. Um, Lightning Starburst. So that's our second box hit for this box. So overall, I think as long as this is it, which I think it might be, Reese Matheson there, put him off to the side. Um, I think we've gotten six uh, really rare box hit cards um, from the three boxes and for five different teams. There were two Sydney Bangs, so... That's why it's only five, not six different teams. But that's still a pretty good spread. Um, but yeah, whoever got Sydney is just a, a lucky duck. Jack Lukosius and Chad Wingard. Stephen Motlop from Port. Doesn't want to focus that well. And Jack Viney for the D's. Hard in an under player. Yeah, I think the re reflections um, from the packs due to the sun is uh, making it not want to focus, but that's all right. Like I've said before, you guys can still um, see just out of focus. Ed Anderson, ex-Hawks player, I think. And Asava Radigalia from Geelong. I don't think Radigalia played, actually, against Adelaide. And neither did Jeremy Cameron. So they might have been a bit short in their goal-kicking, tall, tall goal-kickers uh, market or, or department. Nick Caulfield from Saints. And Taron Thomas from North. And what are we down to? The last five, four or five packs or something. So we'll bring those out here. Yep, five packs left, as you can see there. Hopefully we get something good, but uh, I think we might be done with the, the box hits now. Jake Melksham. Sorry, bring that into focus. <laughs> and Max King. Sorry, just uh, shifting the camera a little bit. There we go. James Aish from Frio. And another Frio, David Mundy for the Game Breakers. There have been a, a few nice Frio cards. And I, don't, I don't know if we've had any double ups, but... Um, yeah, unfortunately no big box hits, but yeah, if you got Frio, you're, you're doing okay still. Jonathan Stegler, Hawks Ruckman. And Devin Smith, Milestone for Essendon. We got two packs left now.
Harry Cunningham from Sydney, and Michael Hurley from Essendon, who's unfortunately out for a while. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, I just know that he's not supposed to be back for, for a fair while for the Bombers, unfortunately, and he's been such a good player over such a long period, um, controlling being the leader of that back line, and to be fair, at times, leader of the team, I think. When Heffel's been out injured, he's been filling captain. Uh, Lockie Henderson there. And finally, Luke Shuey for the Game Breakers. So there you go. That has been a three-box break. Um, and if we go back and quickly go through what we've gotten... Um, We will see that we've had Nick Haynes from the Giants for a bang. So that's number 54 on the back. I'll quickly go through what the number that they have on the back as well. Jordan Dawson, um, which is number 170 of 210. Doesn't want to focus, but you guys can see. We had Isaac Heaney, which is actually, an, I just had a quick peek, and it is number 17, so that's low number as well. Not super low, but still low, of 210. So that was good for Sydney. And then we move on to the Lightning Starburst, which is supposed to be one in every two boxes, so we got two of those. So Reese Matheson, number 42, out of 210. There you go. Then we got Tom Lynch, Lightning Starburst. Right there for the Tigers. And he's number 54. So not super low, but still still a decent number. And, and a very good card. Don't get me wrong there. So, uh, And finally, the... Port Adelaide Premiership Predictor, which is a good one because they are definitely in with a chance. I'll have a look at the, the result against North Melbourne that they played earlier because they would have finished over the last, I think, half hour or hour, maybe half hour. Um, but, uh, yeah, they they in with a very good chance. So to whoever got Port, well done. 140 of 140. Um, but that might be one to hold on to if you choose to do so. Um, so those were the, the hits, um, even though we had one, our first box only had one, um, really rare insert in it, the next box had three, so it made up for it, which was good. Um, I was worried that we'd end up with only four or five, um, box hits. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go, that, that has been three boxes, um, obviously, uh, I'll try my, my best to get these cards out as soon as possible to you guys. But um, at, at, like I said, three boxes worth of cards, uh, it's a lot. And it's a lot to go through and sort into teams and, and um, get into envelopes and, and that sort of thing. So, um, uh, yeah, it's um, it, it'll take a few days. But I'll get them out to you guys as soon as I can. Um Thank you for watching, uh, whether it be live or later on. Um, but I hope you guys got some nice cards. Um, definitely Sydney got two bangs. Uh, the Port Premiership Predictor and the Tom Lynch Lightning Starburst are all really good. Um, but even Nick Haynes from GWS, the bang. And um, the Reese Matheson Brisbane uh, Lightning Starburst as well is a nice one. So, um yeah, there you go. Um, thank you very much for watching and for entering the box break. Um, I don't know if I'll do another one in the future. Um, maybe even next year I might might do another one. But um, yeah, I really appreciate appreciate you guys uh, entering and watching. And um, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to send me a message. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll uh, catch you guys later. So thank you again for watching and bye.